Hi everybody, so we are going to discuss about this plugin Elementor Table of Contents widget which is actually, as you can see, a widget to create a table of contents for Elementor. So first of all, make sure that you have Elementor installed on your WordPress and then on the plugins, click, click on Add New and then um, we will install the plugin upload plugin and then browse and locate your member fist EOC Elementor zip and click on open and then click on install now just wait a little for it to install and then uh, we'll um, activate the plugin waiting a little for activation and then we'll go to see how it actually looks um, as you can see it is here Elementor table of contents widget built my by member fix and um, at this point we will just see by um, editing a page with Elementor to see how exactly how we can use this widget and for example I have this page here so let's wait a little to load editing with uh, Elementor okay so I have this page and we will need to add a table of contents on it. Just on the left side, click here, drag and drop. And this will, will actually generate uh, a table of contents from all these headings I have here. So right now, the TLC is generated. I just click on update. And let's see how it looks. Just waiting for it to load and here it is so we have this TOC but at some point you will want to customize it as you can see it is a fixed TOC on the page and um, let's see the options of this widget as you can see on top we have three tabs we have content style and advanced advanced it is just added by Elementor and we will not use it because it is not needed in this case but we will use content and style tabs so let's begin with content as you can see we have um, the position which is top left now but we can also change it to bottom left for example or uh, you can change it to top right or bottom right whatever you want okay so we have the index tags as you can see i have now h2 and h3 these are the headings they are added by default but if you want you can add also other um, uh, headings by clicking and then add h4 h5 h6 whatever you want but i will stick with just h2 and h3 for the moment and um, okay click on it to edit and um, you can see that I have here the opportunity for um, just uh, hide a heading from uh, the table of contents by adding this uh, ignored heading class when you edit the heading so for example I have this heading here if I edit it and then go to advanced and to CSS classes and just add the uh, class which I've mentioned and click on update you will see that when we will view the TOC it will actually hide the heading and this is a nice feature if you want to use it as you can see it, it is hidden now it is excluded from the TOC and um, okay I have this let's go back to top left and then uh, let's see the other options you can see uh, we have the horizontal offset which is actually the distance from the left side you can add it like this and then we have the vertical offset which is the distance from the top and then we have uh, the width of this um, container you can also increase it how you want 
and let's click on update and see how it is looking now okay the page is loading and um, as you can see it is here it's looking pretty good let's just do some adjustments for example i will leave the offset at zero the horizontal one and then i have this uh 245 maybe 35 is just fine and then i'll just have this with 220 click on update and um, let's see how it is looking now as you can see we have this nice toc which is working just fine and let's examine these additional settings as you can see we have this class added here by default because elementor adds this class to the content area and it is this one here which contains all the headings and then we have the auto collapse sub index this means that for example if i have now h2 and h3 the h3 will collapse automatically let's check this and see how it looks click on update and then go to the page and then uh, you will notice how this is actually collapsing which is a nice feature but for the moment we'll leave it like this and then right now let's see how it will actually look by changing the background changing the title color or the active title color so let's change the background if you want you can choose the colors from here whatever you want and then um, let's change the title color okay and then uh, let's change the active title color okay so this one okay, like this and then you can also change the separator line which is this one under each heading so you can choose whatever color you, you want okay so let's click on update and let's see how it is looking now the page is loading it's refreshing and you can see we have all the changes here and you can also change the typography you can change uh, the font if you want you can change the size of the font you can change the weight of the font and everything else so under typography you have some really nice features Let's click on update and i think this covers all just please let me know if you have any questions and hopefully this is a useful video for you thank you for watching